Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're diving deep into a defense technology that could drastically change the game for the Philippines when it comes to homeland and military security. Microwave anti-drone systems, a new breed of defense weapon that's fast becoming a necessity in modern warfare. This is not just science fiction anymore. The British Army just successfully tested a high-power radio frequency directed energy weapon, or RFDW, that brought down swarms of drones with surgical precision. It's a wake-up call, and one the Philippines cannot afford to ignore. Let's break down why the Philippines should seriously consider acquiring or developing microwave anti-drone systems and why waiting too long might be a national security risk. Drones are cheap, they're everywhere, and they're deadly. From Ukraine to Gaza, drones, especially kamikaze and first-person view FPV types, have shifted the battlefield dynamic. But they're not just tools of war anymore. They're also threats to airports, energy infrastructure, and even VIP protection. Now imagine this, the South China Sea, a region full of gray zone tactics, fishing boats, maritime militia, and increasingly autonomous drones. The Philippine military, Coast Guard, and even civilian infrastructure are vulnerable to drone incursions. Whether it's surveillance over military outposts in Palawan or electronic spying over radar stations in Zambales, Drones can, and probably already do, fly undetected across our airspace. So what exactly is this new tech the UK just tested? The system is called RFDW, short for Radio Frequency Directed Energy Weapon. Instead of firing bullets or missiles, it fires concentrated high-frequency microwave energy to fry the electronics inside drones. No projectiles. No explosions, just a quick zap, and the drone falls out of the sky. One British system, Rapid Destroyer by Thales UK, was tested and took out over 100 drones, including two entire swarms in one go. That's the kind of air defense system that could guard our coastlines, bases, ports, and even airports. The Philippines is an archipelago with thousands of kilometers of vulnerable coastline, spread out military bases, and rapidly modernizing cities. The threat of swarming drones attacking radar systems, bases like Camp Aguinaldo or Antonio Bautista Air Base, or even ports in Subic and Davao, is very real. Conventional anti-air systems like missiles are too expensive and often too slow to respond to fast, small, low-flying drones. You don't want to use a $1 million missile to shoot down a $300 drone. Microwave anti-drone systems offer a cost per shot of only 13 cents, as reported in the UK trial. That's practically nothing, and perfect for the budget-conscious but security-aware Philippines. RFDW systems aren't meant to replace missiles or guns, but to complement them. Think of it as a layered air defense setup. One, radar spots the threat. Two, microwave weapon zaps the swarm. Three, if that fails, fallback options like guns or SAMs take over. This is force multiplication and perfect for island bases like Pagasa Island or even civilian airports like Nia McTan or Clark. And here's the kicker. Unlike jamming systems, microwave weapons can take down autonomous drones, those that aren't even relying on GPS or radio control. That's a huge advantage. Other countries are already racing ahead. The US Air Force has Thor, a containerized anti-drone microwave system. The British Army has Rapid Destroyer. South Korea, is investing in both laser and microwave DWs. Israel and Turkey are fielding various directed energy technologies for drone defense. Meanwhile, the Philippines, still largely reliant on legacy systems and manual spotting. Even civilian drone regulations remain weak. 
If the UK is preparing to field this system by 2027, the Philippines should be working now, either to acquire, co-develop, or locally manufacture a similar solution. Think about this. What if drones were used to sabotage power plants or communication towers, interfere with air traffic at Nia or McTan, spy on or attack military installations or ships docked at Subic or Sangley? A few dozen cheap FPV drones carrying small explosives can cause millions in damage and paralyze operations. We've already seen drone disruptions in major airports like Gatwick in the UK. The same could happen in Clark or DeBayo. Only worse, because we don't have the infrastructure to respond rapidly. Here's an opportunity. The Philippines could partner with defense companies like Thales, Rafael, or even U.S. firms like Ipiris to create a localized version of a microwave anti-drone system. Combine that with the Self-Reliant Defense Posture, SRDP, program, and we could build a homegrown solution tailored for our terrain, budget, and operational needs. Even our universities and R&D hubs could get involved like DOSD and DICT. This isn't just military. It's national tech capability building. So what do we need? One, government attention, particularly from the DND, DICT, and NECA. Two, inclusion in Rehorizon 3 procurement plans. Three, funding for feasibility studies and foreign collaboration. Four, public awareness, because national security isn't just about fighter jets and submarines. It's about staying one step ahead in a changing battlefield. The drone threat is here to stay and will only grow. And while traditional defense systems still have a place, the future lies in smart, cost-effective, next-generation tech. Microwave anti-drone weapons are not a luxury. They're a 21st century necessity, especially for a strategically important archipelagic country like the Philippines. Let's not wait until our skies are filled with threats we cannot stop. The time to act is now. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you never miss an update on Philippine defense, tech, and geopolitics. Stay safe, stay smart, and as always, Mabuhay Ong Pilipinas.